Hi Les, I'm Timothy Rayleigh, and today I want to show you an experiment that I've always wanted to do. And I believe this experiment is pretty clever. It'll also show you that I'm good with cameras and angles and all that good stuff. Also, it'll show you my presence on camera. So I want to bring you on a story of this anthropological experiment of sleeping in a tree. So of course, the first step for this is going to be finding a good tree in a good spot to build my nest in. Now from what I can tell, apes generally got their bedding from up in the trees. But in the tropics there's a lot more, you know, big fleshy leaves. Here, this is pretty much all oaks and pines and, you know, things with leaves like that big. So, like the adaptable hominid I am, I'm just going to gather tall grasses that are nice and soft. So like this stuff. If I can get enough of this and bring it up there, I think I'll be able to make a really soft bed. quite a bit of straw I've got here and I think this is going to be enough and if it isn't I just come back down here and gather more. There's still plenty left and um, this is a very very renewable resource right here. It's time to start putting this putting this bed together and making sure it's comfortable. And I figure the area that's gonna need the most padding is gonna be my my core, core of my body. My legs probably won't need too much, just because they don't weigh much. There's not a lot of pressure on these branches from them. I'll admit it's looking pretty good. Oh man. This is this is sweet. Oh my goodness. I gotta admit, it's pretty sweet. I really, I'm really comfortable. Like, dang, why didn't I do this before? I imagine Tarzan would have slept in something like this every night. I'm laying in my bed, look at that. It's pretty, this is really amusing to see this. Laying in my bed. And what's cool is, obviously I'm holding, you know, I'm holding the camera with both hands here. And um, I'm actually pretty, pretty in, I'm in here pretty solid. Like I don't feel like I'm gonna fall out at all, even if I relax. Also, this branch is just kind of perfect. It's kind of the perfect place for my head to lay. Now, of course, spending hours in something like this is gonna be a lot different than the first five minutes. So, we'll we'll see how that goes. I'm not sure if you can tell how high this is. I think it's somewhere between 15 and 20 feet high, which I'd say it's more toward 20 feet, but um, who knows. It's high enough for me at least. Maybe one day I'll make one up in the canopy, but uh, for right now, this is, this is awesome. I'm like, I'm really liking this. I mean, this is really nice. I think I'll actually get a few hours of sleep. When I was first thinking about this, I was really skeptical, but definitely think I can get a few hours of sleep up in here. And that's pretty good for being in the woods. As long as the bugs don't get bad, I think I'm pretty well set for tonight. All right, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and get on up there. I mean, I'm just going to bed at my normal bedtime, which is which is actually kind of early right now. I'm going to, it's about 11 o'clock. It's a clear sky. I don't expect any rain, so. It should, it should be a comfortable night, but uh, we'll see. We will see. All right, there it is. There's my bed right there. <laughs> oh man, this is freaking sweet. I think I'm too excited to sleep for a while. <laughs> 
So one thing, uh, when I got up here, I heard a mosquito buzz for a moment, and um, it's just been one. And I just heard him while I was talking just then, and he hadn't come back. But um, there's a little bit of a breeze up here, not much, just enough to make it feel really nice. But um, you can see I put on long sleeves, and I put on some pants too, just um, just because it's going to get a little bit cooler tonight. And if it if it does get windy, you know, I don't want to be up here all exposed. So a mosquito has come up here to keep me company, and um, sing me its beautiful song of. But I've been hearing owls, and the owls will hoot, the barred owls. And uh, they'll get to hooting to each other and stuff, and they, they live all back in these woods. After I'm still for a little while, the mosquitoes just start getting worse. I'm still pretty determined to last all night. And um, so far it's been about half an hour I've been laying up here. And um, I'm not uncomfortable. It's not like being in my bed, but of course, it is not uncomfortable. I cannot say that it's uncomfortable. But there are mosquitoes up here. So I just killed one on the side of my head. You know, they just kind of come in and start and then they, they'll fade out for a second and then they'll come back in. So at least, at least they're not swarming me though. That's happened before. That's not been fun. Man, I, I hate to admit it, but Sleep is not very looking very likely for tonight. The mosquitoes are just, just buzzing. I'm gonna go ahead and call this bed a success or a nest a success because it is comfortable. I do believe I can sleep in it. My issue is mosquitoes. This is my story. Building a nest up in a tree, laying in it, it actually being comfortable, but um, mosquitoes, man, they, I hate to let them win. I'm gonna call this a win. The the nest wins, but um, I lose against the mosquitoes. So Les, I hope I have illustrated a good story for you. Also shown you what kind of camera work I can do. And um, hopefully this whole sleeping in a tree idea was creative enough for you. Um, I had fun with it, you know. I really, really enjoyed it. I learned a lot. And that's what these experiments are for. You, to learn, see what it's like to experience. I think it's, I think it's awesome.